Yeah, being from Jersey, I mean, it wasn't as hectic for me as it was for my teammates. But, uh, I mean, the staff made it really easy on us. You know, they gave us a uh, place to sleep every night in here with the cots and stuff. So uh, it wasn't really rough on us, but uh, the staff really helped that out. Ryan, did you notice kind of a lot of stress come off your teammates once you know everything kind of passed and they figured out that their families were safe? Yeah, definitely. Uh, you know, obviously families first. You know, them, you know, going to football, having to worry about their family and stuff like that. I think you know it could affect their performance. So, you know, being able to know that you know their family's safe and all that definitely you know help them you know be able to focus on football. Uh, we spoke to Jimbo the Thursday before you guys were supposed to play Louisiana Monroe. And he said that the passing game was really coming along and that James Blackman was doing well. And he felt like that practice, I think the Wednesday and Thursday, you guys were doing really well. And then to not be able to play and then have to sit for five or six days, how frustrating was that? And how, how good was it to get back on the field? Yeah, it's definitely the oddest you know, start I've had to a season since I've been here. You know, all the off time and you know, we've been practicing more than we've been playing. But I mean, you know, having DeAndre go down, you know, having James come in, I think you know, it's only going to help us as a team just because you know, he's a true freshman, doesn't have that experience. So. You know, having more time to just you know get more reps in practice is definitely going to help them. Jimbo was saying that you and Eberly were probably the two best players they had against Alabama. A, what was it about your performance that you think allowed him to say that? And B, what do you try to take out of Alabama going forward, knowing that A, this offense wants to jumpstart things, but B, you do have a new quarterback you're working with? Yeah, I mean, for me and Eberly personally, I think it was just you know a lot of hard work and you know coaches being real hard on us, you know, having uh, you know Trickett and Brewster, you know, real detailed oriented guys. So I think going to that game, you know, we just really focused on the details, and I think that really helped us. And then, you know, James again, you know, having this off time, and I think him having, um, you know, DeAndre now come back is definitely going to help him too because DeAndre's going to be, you know, like Derwin was last year, you know, be able to coach those younger guys and just help them look forward to the season. Ryan, what has this week been like getting back to practice? Have guys been engaged? Has it taken a couple you know, days to get going? I guess how have things been in practice? Yeah, I think physically-wise we were a little bit out of shape. You know, we had, I think, four or five days off. So, you know, that's tough on your legs to come back and, you know, the grind of practice that we have. But, I mean, you know, after these past two days, I think we got back in shape and, you know, we're ready to play NC State. How about mentally? Has it been kind of weird to get back in the swing of things as well? Or has that been kind of similar? Yeah, it's, it's just different because, you know, it's kind of like during camp. You know, you're not preparing for a game. But, you know, right now we're just, you know, we're kind of polishing up the details, you know. And then, uh, you know, we'll get through this week and then, you know, focus on more game planning next week against for NC State. You're supposed to be preparing for a rivalry game on Saturday. Next week, it was supposed to be your third home game. It'll be your first home game. Just how anxious are you guys to kind of run out of the tunnel for the first time and get on your home field in front of your home fans? Yeah, I mean, that's one of the reasons why you come to Florida State, you know, be able to run out in front of, you know, 85,000 fans. So, you know, not being able to do that, you know, it's kind of been hard on us just because, you know, how hard we work on the field. But, you know, we're anxiously waiting for it against uh, NC State. What are some of those things uh, older guys on the offense, much like yourself, are doing to make the adjustment with James Blackman easier? And also, is it similar last year when you're working in Francois, or is it different? Because, I mean, at least with DeAndre, he had a year to learn the offense, whereas if James Blackman, he's had, what, five, six weeks. So, I mean, is it similar? Is it different? Yeah, I think, I think it's different just because James is a true freshman. You know, uh, I think uh, for us, we're not trying to do anything different, but, you know, just do our job. That's what Jim has been saying on us. Don't you try to do more. Don't try to do less. Just, you know, get your job done and do as well as you can. Ryan, quarterbacks have different styles, throw the ball differently. What has been the biggest thing on the receiving end? Like, how is the ball different coming from Francois versus Blackman? Uh, they throw the ball pretty, pretty similar, in my opinion. They know when to put touch on it, when not to put touch on it. Um, honestly, from working with them, uh, them in the summer, real similar guys. I mean, every time DeAndre was out there, you know, taking reps, we also took reps to James, Bailey, JJ, all of them. So, I mean, you, our, we've you know, been used to their balls, and I think it's really similar to DeAndre's. Uh, Ryan, uh, Derek Kelly seemed like he played pretty well in that first game for first start at left tackle. What have you seen from him now that he's been healthier and, and uh, seems like he's gotten some more confidence being on that side of the line? Yeah, I think he's a guy like Jonathan Vickers. You know, he started to focus on the details, started to accept coaching. Uh, Derek has all you know, the potential in the world. He's one of the best tackles we have, one of the best tackles in the country. So I think him just focusing on the details, you know, listening to Tricky, listening to coaching has definitely helped him, and that's why he's succeeding so much this year so far. When you play a team that has talented defensive ends like NC State, do you have to pay a little more attention, making sure you get that chip, or you spend a little more extra time knowing that you got to get that that extra block? Yeah, I mean it's similar to uh, Alabama. You know, during the week we're really focused on you know helping out our tackles because 
I mean, their ends are, you know, really explosive and, you know, just really talented. So it's going to be really similar to, you know, Alabama because they have, you know, similar ends and just similar talent-wise. Ryan, for you, just what's kind of impressed you the most about James through what you've seen thus far in practice? And then uh, was there a play or anything in particular, one, one play in particular, you've seen that you were like, whoa, this, this kid's a little different? Uh, I think the woe well factor for me from James was, you know, when we have a team meeting and, um, you know, they ask the leaders to come up, talk, and somebody speak up. And you don't usually expect, you know, a true freshman to come up in front and, you know, speak to the team. So I think, you know, seeing him go up in front of the team, you know, the leadership abilities that he has, and looking going forward to, I think he's, you know, really special.